Hello and welcome to Wonderland and welcome to Tea Time Teasers. So today we are at the Tower Hotel, right next to the Tower Bridge, the Tower of London, and we are going to have afternoon tea at the vicinity tea room. So come along with me down the rabbit hole and we'll experience this together. Hello and welcome to Wonderland once again and happy 2024. So today I am seated in one of the most beautiful places I've been since the Shard. I'm seated right across from the Tower Bridge. That is one of my favorite London landmarks there is. I mean, it's an iconic view right there in front of me and I'm so happy to be spending my first afternoon tea here in 2024 seeing this right here what a treat first things first i hit a very special milestone on new year's eve i finally made it past a thousand subscribers so i wanted to thank each and every one of you that subscribes and everybody that watches that hasn't subscribed yet i really appreciate this it's been a major thrill and a wonderful victory if I have to be honest you know I'm just so pleased I really enjoy bringing afternoon teas to you guys and I look forward to 2024 to bringing more to you but I just wanted to say a very warm thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching and subscribing and please tell your friends about this you know they might like it too afternoon tea here at the vicinity tea room the restaurant in the Tower Hotel is 35 pounds a person. You can also do a cream tea if you'd like for only 10 pounds 50 and that will be your tea, your unlimited tea, as well as your scones and clotted cream and jam. So that's quite a deal. Now if you're going to be doing the afternoon tea, the regular one, you can upgrade with a, cla a glass of a Chapel Down English sparkling wine for five pounds more or you can add a tea time cocktail for five pounds more or maybe even a fancy glass of champagne for 10 pounds more. So all in all, this seems like a great bargain here right next to the Tower Bridge and the Tower of London. I like that. Here, here's the menu once again, right there. Very good. Yeah, I'm, it's kind of nice to go to a, a not as expensive afternoon tea because sometimes we don't want to spend all of that money every time we go out. And also, you know, if you're traveling here on holiday, you want to save some of your budget for other things, right? <laughs> My tea tower has already arrived and I will be showing you a little bit about that right now. It looks really nice. I've got three tiers. I did not ask about, please do not put butter on my bread because I just don't even want to go through that situation again. It looks like there's going to be lots of butter on my bread, but you know what, I'm going to just have to suck it up and you know, it's okay. We can do this 2024. We can embrace the butter. Well, maybe. Afternoon tea here at the vicinity tea rooms. Uh, my waiter did say that uh, I can have as many teas and sweets as I like. So that's very nice because the sandwiches, they look kind of small, but that's a good thing. It looks like there's a nice selection. A very traditional afternoon tea is what I'm looking at. But I think by just in first impressions, I think that view, that view, that view is the reason why you would come here. But you know what? I have a feeling these are going to be lovely little tea sandwiches and maybe even a hidden gem next to the crown jewels. <laughs> Afternoon tea here is served every day from 12 to 5. 
all through the year. So if you're here visiting, you know, at the Tower of London or the Teller Bridge, anything in this area of town, you can get yourself in here. Now remember to make a reservation. Generally for afternoon teas, they do like to plan ahead. I did a very, a little, a little mix around with my schedule because I found out next week there's going to be tube strikes again. So I moved my tea from next week to today. So I was lucky to get in. Usually you can't get same day seatings for afternoon teas, but it worked out here. The best thing to go or to find your teas would perhaps go to afternoonteas.co.uk. If you'd like to book this tea, that's how I did it. But you can also go on their website and I will make sure to leave the link down below as well. It was kind of nice to be presented with the, the tea chest, definitely. I really like that little added touch. I think it was very nice. I think if you're really into different kinds of teas, there was about maybe 10, 12, 15 different kinds. I saw green teas, herbal teas, your typical ones. I saw chamomile, the English breakfast. I saw green teas, I think I said that. But yeah, a few this and that and the other. Nothing terribly exotic, of course, but that's okay. Sometimes you don't need that, right? So for my next few afternoon teas, we're gonna be scaling upon the Thames River Bank. I'll just be up a little bit further up the river. Yeah, for the next two afternoon teas, so you'll definitely have to watch to see where I go next. But yes, we're out of Mayfair. We're out of Belgravia. We are now right next to the Thames. I love it. I love all the different areas in London. Every single one is different, and that's why it's so fun to visit here. Now, this is something that's very nice. My waiter just came back, and he changed my hot water without me asking. That is customer service. I have always had cold tea, but it's nice to have nice hot tea. So, yay! I'm very happy here. Where am I? I'm at the vicinity afternoon tea. Very nice. The Tower Hotel is doing great customer service. So all in all, I really enjoyed my afternoon tea here at the Castle Hotel in the vicinity dining room for afternoon tea. Very nice. Thank you so much for watching the Tea Time Teasers. And I will see you next Saturday for another one. And remember, I have a full length video and my whole experience that I release on Fridays. So please join me down the rabbit hole and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.